Hi all, welcome once again to Casters Photography Photoshop Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you a technique that I particularly love to use. I didn't give it any special name, so let's just call it give your pictures some edge technique or something. Uh, I know there are little problems with my sound in my videos, but uh, don't worry, I'm working against that. Uh, next week or somewhere I will have a new microphone, so my tutorials will be much clearer the next one you will see. By all means, this is not my invention and I have gathered all my knowledge over the years on the internet myself. This is just a way to show you how I do it in my own way. Enjoy and don't be afraid to post some comments on my tubes or blog. And we're gonna start off with the tutorial now. Like always, I'm just gonna start with duplicating my layer. I do this with holding Ctrl or Option on the Mac and J. This time I'm gonna change the blending mode of the top picture in soft light. You can do this as in an overlay or in another blending mode if you wish, but it's just how I do it. So I use uh, blending mode soft light on the top layer. I go to filter, other, and one of the filters that are never used, high pass. You see already directly a, a big change in your picture if I click off the preview and click it on again you see it's much much sharper in picture so you can change here if you want to have a little bit more edge to your picture or a little less I'm showing you this in three different pictures so you can see the difference in, um, in different side so I click it off that was before and I click it on again, that's after using this little technique. I'm gonna switch over to another sample. It's just bricks, just a wall. It doesn't look like much, but I'm just showing you this technique. It's gonna show very clearly on, 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 on this picture. Again, Ctrl J to duplicate my layer. The top layer I change in soft light mode. And then I apply a high pass filter on it. Here we go. I'm normally using it around 80, well, 79.6 is good here. I click OK. And again, I'm gonna show you before and after. You see the edges are so much sharper and, and much clearer than before. Again, before and after, before and after. Maybe you don't see this very well on uh, the little video I put on YouTube but just try it yourself you will see what a big difference this makes in your pictures and sharpness and, and especially the, the, sh the, the edges of your pictures are going to be much much clearer. I'm going to use this one on the last picture for not always using a female in my pictures, I'm going to use a male and it's, this will show as well why this technique is, is so successful because while well, this guy is pretty muscled. So I'm Ctrl J to duplicate my layer. I change my blending mode again to soft light. This isn't really that nice but when I change my, uh, when I apply filter I mean sorry, a high pass filter you're gonna see the big big difference it's gonna make. I keep it at 80 and I'm gonna click it off to show you before and on, off and on. Much much more details in the whole picture. You can always just apply a mask and start masking off what you don't like to be that sharp. For example uh, wrinkles in, in the eyes and, and on the face maybe just that's that's what you want to do with it I'm just keeping it this simple to keep it as short as possible here you go that was the whole technique I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please post some comments or critiques I love to you uh, to hear more from you okay thank you bye